Whenever you're done, you just show the thumb, right? Okay, done. Continue. Hello, friends. This is uh, Manish Daga, cotton guru with one of the most respected guests that we have in India. Right now, I am right now sitting in front of Mr. Bill Kingdon. He is the MD of the International Cotton Association, most famously known as the ICA. He is the newly elected MD. Hearty <laughs> congratulations Thank to you, you, Bill. Thank you so much. You have got a very, very significant <laughs> role to play uh, in the ICA. Sir, what we would like to know is, as the new MD of ICA, what do you aspire to do in your yeah. Well, the, the, firstly, and most importantly, thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to you and talk to your followers and the people who listen to your ideas about the cotton industry. My goal at the moment is to, I've joined a big international association, my role is to understand more yeah. about the association and the cotton trade. My background is not in the cotton trade. Yeah. Uh, so I firstly I um, want to grow in my own knowledge and understanding and very importantly to get to know the people the community of cotton growers ginners spinners merchants controllers agents whatever role they play right. but to uh, uh, better understand their needs and their aspirations such that the association can support their aspirations and their needs and the things they need in order to do business better Right, that's very likely put. So that is what he aspires, Bill Kingdon, as the MD of ICA. So, Bill, now can you share what are the measures uh, that uh, you think uh, should be taken to increase the membership of ICA across all segments and okay. countries? Well, that, that, that's, a, that's a, a great question. I think first I'd say that increasing the number of members is less important to me, and I think it's less important to the association than understand uh, getting a good understanding and helping to support the needs of our members yeah. and the people who might become our members so I think we will attract more people if we can demonstrate to the association and to our sister associations like the Cotton Association of India that it is beneficial to everyone to be working with International Cotton Association bylaws and rules yeah. to be understanding each other and using uh, that framework for trading cotton internationally. Um, it would be great if our work therefore resulted in more members, but our target is not simply to get more members. Our focus first off though, and I think it's, it's probably worth emphasizing this, is to um, better understand the needs of agents, uh, many of whom work in India uh, and in the subcontinent to facilitate the buying and selling of cotton. Uh, not many of whom currently are members of the International Cotton Association. So we, we seek to determine how better can we support the role that they play and persuade the buyers and sellers of cotton to use agents that are accredited by the ICA because that helps to increase uh, that sanctity of cotton and the trust that we have in each other if we're using agencies agents that understand the rules, the bylaws and rules of the ICA and uh, are working to the same objectives, which is the, the honest, trustworthy, dependable trade amongst folk who are uh, sharing the same values and the same objectives. Right, so very good thought that Bill has uh, shared with us the intent of uh, the ICA and his visit to India right now. This, and of course he was with us in Bangladesh last week. He's not to promote membership. The intent is to promote awareness about a healthy business, what is possible you know, in business and he has undermined the role of agents. So agents can be a good media through which healthy business can happen. Exactly. And the more you educate the agents, then the buyers and sellers will get educated automatically. Exactly. Because the agent has the things to play. So very good uh, uh, thought uh, to start with uh, your tenure at the MD. Sir, one more thing I would like to know is uh, how can members and non-members take benefit of various activities of ICA? One of the most important things I see myself about the International Cotton Association is this framework, this network of people all over the globe who are engaged in the cotton trade. And so we have an annual event every year which is extremely well attended. Last, uh, next October it will be in Hong Kong. Uh, in 2017 it was in Singapore um, which brings together thought leaders experts traders merchants from every aspect of the cotton 
value chain, then they come together. So that's a really important way. Right. I think another is we do provide uh, training, we provide continual professional development courses. One thing I do want to emphasize and, and mention to you, that there is a, uh, a professional certificate in commodity management okay. sponsored by the University of Liverpool uh, and uh, funded by the International Cotton Association and supported by us, uh, which is in six modules and it's, it's remote learning, so there's no travel required. People can uh, conduct, do it from their, from their place of work, um, but meet together over the internet with academic experts and fellow professionals around the world to develop their understanding of commodity trading or, or, or in all aspects of, yeah. of, of futures, of banking, of law, of leadership, Indicates marketing, of indeed. And then the final module of that is a cotton module, uh, which is particularly focused on, uh, on people who are working uh, full-time in, in the cotton industry. So that is one example of the continual professional development training we provide. Critically too, uh, as you're aware, arbitration is perhaps the pillar on which the sanctity of contact, contract Absolutely. is maintained. Uh, so it's, it's um, one, if there is any disagreement, dispute over the delivery and performance of a contract, uh, then maintaining effective arbitration capabilities um, which uh, are slick, non-legal, therefore cheaper, right. quicker, um, uh, and enabling arbitration by cotton people for cotton people is, a, is another important pillar of the Indeed. ICA. Indeed. Um, so I'd, I'd stress those three things really, the training, the network, uh, the understanding of each other, right. uh, and, and this pillar of arbitration, the legal yes. aspects underpinned and supported by our bylaws and rules. Right, arbitration is must because uh, without that the uh, contract sanctity is not guaranteed. Exactly, so, exactly. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, we uh, recently you had a meeting with the board members of the Cotton Association of India. Yeah. Any specific plans to you know to engage work together? Into, uh, yes, uh, mutually yes. beneficial. Uh, well, we've had a great, region. a great, a great meeting. It's been a wonderful opportunity. To, to meet the board of the Cotton Association of India uh, and very kindly they've extended a warm welcome for us to come to the, uh, the uh, association meeting in September um, and I very much hope that the ICA will be represented at that event. But we also want to um, design shared training uh, in support of agents in particular, building on that which I've already mentioned, and then to understand how the bylaws and rules are evolving those which um, people trading cotton in India and in the subcontinent find less effective right. in supporting your trade, um, so we can understand the perspective from the Cotton Association India and the ICA's perspective. Uh, and finally, most you know, equally importantly, textile manufacturer associations and the Cotton Confederation of India are, are really critical partners here, yeah. and we very much hope to work through the CIA with those major bodies which yeah. are so critical to the cotton right. trade here. Meet the consumers basically. Yes, exactly. exactly. Uh, next yeah. time we visit we will definitely uh, arrange so. some with the business yeah, association great. heads and uh, uh, take it up from there. Good. And, uh, the last question will the first time we have come to India. It is. So any specific plans for India now that you have seen well, my, it, my it, it, yes, here? it's a, as you say, it's the first time I've come here. I'd love to come back. I've been here for such a short time, and I need, I would love to explore India far more deeply in return in the future. And I know I will. It's important that uh, this critical market uh, is so important to international cotton trade. It's very important to the ICA and to me. So I will be back. I look forward to seeing you again and to sure. getting to know more members uh, and your your followers here in India during future visits. Absolutely. We would also love to get engaged with ICA. Right. Thank you, really. Thank you, Thank you very much. for being with us. Thanks, Cotton Guru. Just one minute, or share, uh, share anything.